Upload your doubts on the app to get video solutions. Meter <coughs> of resistance 0 0.80 ohm. Okay, there is an emitter of resistance. How much? 0 0.80 ohm can measure current up to 1 ampere. Okay, fine. So, what must be the shunt resistance to enable the emitter to so basically this is a galvanometer which is converted into an emitter right so what is our uh, initial current through the galvanometer that is i g which is 1 ampere correct and what is our resistance of this galvanometer r g that is equals to 0 0.80 ohms Question says, what must be the shunt resistance to enable the emitter to measure current I that is up to 5, up to 5 ampere. Okay, great. So, total current in the circuit is, let me write here, total current in the circuit is 5 ampere. Okay. And that remaining part we will do, second part after finding the resistance of the shunt. Now pay attention here, if this is our galvanometer here, okay, galvanometer has its own resistance, let's call it as RG. And here we have a shunt which we will connect a small resistance in parallel if you remember our lectures, RS. RS is our shunt resistance which is connected in the parallel to the galvanometer to convert it into emitter, right. If the current I is going here, right. And current across galvanometer is Ig. So, what is the current across the shunt? I minus Ig. Very simple. And if they are connected in parallel, so voltage across the galvanometer must be equal to the voltage across the shunt. Correct. And what is the voltage across the galvanometer? So, current across the galvanometer into resistance. And voltage across the shunt will be current across the shunt, which is I minus Ig into the shunt. Now, we have to calculate this Rs that will be equals to Ig Rg whole divided by I minus Ig. Correct. Very simple concept. So, what is Ig? Current across the galvanometer 1. What is the resistance of the galvanometer initially? 0 0.80 whole divided by I minus Ig. So, I is how much total current in the circuit? 5 minus Ig 1. So, this will be equals to 1 into 0 0.80. 0 0.80. 5 minus 1, 4, 0 0.20. That must be the shunt value. Correct? Now, if RS is 0 0.20, we can find the second part. What is the combined resistance of the emitter and the shunt? So, second part will be 1 by R equivalent equals to 1 by R1, which is resistance of the galvanometer, plus 1 by 0 0.20 which is 0 0.2. Let's make it simple. Many students are confused with these fractions. So, let's make it simple. Make it 10 upon 8. Let's make it 10 upon 2. Correct. So, their common LCM will be obviously 8, 10 plus 2 fourths of 40, 50 by 8. Correct. So, R equivalent will be reciprocal of that. That is 8 by 50. So, or 0 0.8 divided by 5, correct? Or 0 0.5 on the 530, 16 ohms. Done. This is our equivalent of both. I hope this is clear. Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now.